Hello, Hello and welcome, welcome to, to Rotor Days. Hey, you here at UTSA? We're here in the beautiful race facility on campus. Uh, we're in the team meeting room, and really today what we're doing is we're just having a good time playing games. We already got people playing Mario Party in the back, um, but we got a cool thing going on today. We got interviews. We got facts or fizz. We also have a hot one segment, rowdy ones. We're bringing that back. Rowdy ones is back. We're also going to be having uh, some of our student athletes coming up and answering some questions, playing those games, and just uh, having fun here. We're going to have a good time today. Um, we got a really cool show lined up today, and I'm really happy that I want to thank the athletics team for allowing us to be here today. We're just taking over this team meeting room and having a good time. I thank all the athletic, all athletic students for being here. I'm going to mute mine. Let's see. Okay, we can share a mic. We got audio issues over here. Let's mute that. All right, so we're happy to be here. Um, and we got people playing Mario Party already. Really excited. Is it that on the screen? Let's show, let's show the audience what we got going on. Hello, dear Ruiz. Hello, Flame Painter. Hello. Thanks for showing us. Maybe playing games. <laughs> so what do we got? We got Mario Party going on. Luigi, Mario, Donkey Kong, Yoshi. I mean, big things going on. We got our first mini game today. <laughs> Say hello, everyone. Hello. We got the camera. Let's get the fan cam. Fan cam, on, fan cam. <laughs> this might be the first time that some of these people are actually playing Mario Party. That is true. We we asked who wants to play Mario Party. Not that many people raised their hand. <laughs> Alright, we got Bill Blasters as our first game. This will be interesting. Um, we need Mario and Yoshi to ready up. Trying to get this game started. One I thing about Mar oh, one, th <laughs> one thing about Mario Party, man, you can get locked in cutscenes. Yeah. Have you ever played Mario Party before? I have played Mario Party. I grew up on Mario Party. Um, Mario Party Seven is my favorite Mario Party. Um, that's what we got. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice block by Yoshi and Donkey. Yoshi's kind of going crazy. Luigi's oh, got it. Luigi's, Luigi's out. out. Mario. It's a three-way tie right now. Looking good. Donkey Kong. Donkey, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong with the iframes not getting hit there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Donkey Kong's out. We got <laughs> Mario versus he Yoshi. He had iframes. This is really exciting for me. <laughs> Sorry for the lack of commentary. Oh! oh! And Yoshi wins the first mini game. Our first win of the day, Yoshi. Congratulations, Yoshi. Um, so, Matt, I want to talk to you about it. School's just started yesterday. How is it going for you? How are you enjoying it? I'm enjoying it, although uh, I wish that it... I wish that I had some later classes. My first class starts at nine. I know that's in the morning. In the morning. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. I wish that it started around ten, cause that yeah. one I can just sleep in kinda and just have a great time. Yeah. I, when I was a student here, fun fact, I'm not a student. I graduated in 2018, community education degree. Shout out class 2018. Um, I had an 8:30 in the morning class, and boy was that rough. So I feel your pain. 
Somebody already hit the Bowser's face. Luigi. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We also got food here and the we're having a good time. Having a great time here. Anybody in the chat want to talk? Say hi. We're here to talk. Um, any questions y'all have, we can answer. Any questions. We're going to have athletes come in here a bit, talk about their time here being athletes. And if you guys got any questions, I'm happy to ask them. Um, things are looking good over here. Also, it's a rainy day here in San Antonio. Oh. It was very wet today. Um, very nice break from the 100 degree weather we had. I wouldn't call it a nice break. For me, it's just uh, flooding all around. <laughs> yes, on campus was very interesting. Uh, everybody's trying to park and everything, but you know, I like the energy that we have going on here. Um, we, I've been working here over the summer, and it's been real quiet, it's peaceful, but I really enjoy the energy coming back. I love seeing all the students being here again, and. I'm just happy. I'm just happy everything's here. And, you know, I think it's going to be a great season, great semester, great year. Um, we got a lot of good sports coming up this year, too, as well. I'm really excited to talk to athletes about that. What do we got going on? Um, we can start now. We can get, yeah. we can get uh, somebody to just talk to me real quick. Flooding for a small price of rain. You know what? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I enjoy the rain. I'm happy. What game is this? We're playing Mario Party Superstars. We got a couple of people in the crowd. We got a couple of people in the crowd talking, but I want to get an athlete here to talk to them about their time. Um, who's our first person to talk to? Grab anybody. Anybody. Interview? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm just talking. Uh, you want to do it? Robo on camera. Oh, yeah. yeah, grab, grab a chair. Make yourself comfortable. You got it. All you. All right, welcome to the camera. Welcome, welcome to the Roadrunner Gaming Stream. We're live on the UTSA page on YouTube. We're happy to be here. Um, do I need to move more? Is it because I'm too big? I'm too tall compared to these guys. I'm too tall. That's what it is. All right. So who do I got? I'm talking to the microphone. Right here, you got Isaiah Wyatt. Uh, blessing of Deshape. Awesome. What sports do you guys play? Basketball. basketball. Oh, yeah, men's basketball. Men's basketball, awesome. What what position do you guys play? I play guard. Uh, I play guard and forward. Awesome. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I'm Tony Figueroa, by the way. I work with Annual Giving. Um, I've been with UTSA for, I've been here since 2016. Um, I've been watching you guys grow, you know, our programs, all in football, basketball, everything like that. Um, so, First things first, what's the best thing about being on the men's basketball team here at UTSA? Being with a group of guys that want to work. Yeah. Uh, uh, everybody has great character. They ever, like I said, everybody wants to be in the gym and especially come to events like this and yeah. be with people and talk to people that we, you know, we, we just meet. Good. Uh, I would say just all the new people I get to meet as a part of the process and, you know, just going through all these things, especially with a new group of guys that we have this year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what the basketball team is going to do this year. I'm, you know, you guys have been working hard. We're trying to make some things. So I'm really interested to hear about, you know, what you do outside of sports. So what do you, what do you, what do you do outside of sports to help get you ready for basketball? What are the things that help get you mentally ready, physically ready? What are the things that get you prepared to be ready for basketball? Me, me specifically, uh, for sure, listen to music. Yeah. We got to read, you know, read a few books. Here and there, uh, definitely, just those two things for sure. Um, I think, like you said, reading, you know, uh, watch, uh, listening to music, watching movies. But you know, some of our guys, we all get in a room, we all play 2K against each other. You know, 
keep that competitive spirit going, especially off the court, you know, just have some fun. How important is that off the court relationship you have with your teammates? What is that like and how do you think that helps you guys move forward as a team? That's very big. That that shows the difference from, you know, other teams. You know, if you can hang with your teammates and actually have a rapport with them and be able to, you know, just do things outside of basketball. I think that's a lot of things that we're missing, you know, as far as just you know, a lot of teams, you know, they don't they don't really get to know their teammates. They just get on the court and practice with them. That's pretty much it. And I just feel like if you can do that, you'll be a very successful team. Awesome. What do you say? Um, I just say that the off the court time helps us build trust, you know. If you can talk to a guy and see what he does throughout his day and just talk to him about life and things, then I feel like he'll be more open to trusting you. Yeah. That sounds good. You know, we us, we're all video game nerds and everything like that. So, I mean, even it come, even on a oh, good. Actually, that's a great question. What games do you guys play? What do you guys do? Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have two older brothers, okay, uh, 10, 10 and 15 years apart. Yeah. So, it's a big age gap. I'm 22. So, okay. so uh, me growing up, GameCube, Sega Genesis, anything, Nintendo, Nintendo 64, pretty much had it all. So, uh, I definitely grew up, you know, playing. Were you always picked on, you know, being the younger guy? Were you always picked on in those games and everything? Oh, for sure. Especially when my brothers didn't want to play with me, they used to always take the, the plug out and, put, <laughs> and used to act like I was playing. So, uh, the good th old, the younger brother trick. What you got? So, uh, mine is not like his. Me and my older brother are kind of more closer in age. So, our older cousin was the one that really put us on a lot of games. You know, gave us his GameCube, gave us his Sega Genesis, uh, started on Street Fighter, nice. um, Mario, you know, Donkey Kong, and stuff like that. You know, and that's how I got started. You know, we. We have Street Fighter. We have a we we have Street Fighter Six. We got a fight stick here. Maybe we gotta get you on. Maybe maybe see what you can do. I don't think we got Mortal Kombat. I don't know what we got. We will get figured that. Um. So it's Roadrunner Days. First day of school was yesterday. What advice do you got for all the new incoming students that are coming in? You know, what do you got? What do you think they should be doing? You coming in as an athlete, what do you feel that you have to tell these guys? I can say this for me. I've been in school. This be this is my fifth year. Okay. So, uh, for those that's just getting into college, is you know make sure you read your syllabus in every class. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of people don't, you know, they don't sh they don't take care of that first, and they miss a lot, and then they wonder why you know they're failing classes, and especially your freshman year is your most important year. So you know if you're taking care of your freshman year. Your sophomore, junior, senior year, and even if you you know do a grad year, it would be an easy breeze. What about you? What you got? I would just say actually like talk to your professors, make a relationship with them, because you know down the line you might need something or a favor from them, and if they don't know you or you don't talk to them and you haven't built that relationship, then I feel like they wouldn't be as willing to give that favor to you if you didn't talk to them like from the beginning. Right. What are you, what's your guys' majors? What do you guys? Both multi multi uh, multi disciplinary <laughs> studies. I couldn't even say it. Hey, hey, it's hard. It's, so you got you have the three majors. Yeah, three three majors. What are your, what are your three majors? Mine's just politics. Uh, oh, Pol politics, sociology, and uh, kinesiology. Okay. And, uh, my last two the is I have I just have business instead of politics. Okay. So since you've been here for five years, what's your five years? What is your absolute favorite memory? Being at UTSA right now. Well, this is my first year here. Okay. This is my first year here. I okay. was. I'm a transfer. Oh, awesome. which yeah. transfer? From? I transferred from a school called Shadron State. It's in Shadron, Nebraska. Nebraska. Hey, yeah. Shadron, Nebraska. Shout out Nebraska. Oh, really? Yeah. What, Omaha. what part? I Omaha. Was, I lived in Omaha, but I was from Bellevue. Bellevue. I okay. Bellevue. I, I didn't know exactly where that is. Yeah. I've been there. Been through there. Uh, they got good schools over there. I love. You know, yeah. I love my Nebraska people. I, I definitely, I definitely love my time being out there. So definitely shout out to them for sure. Uh, but UTSA is definitely, yeah, I, like I don't even <laughs> want to leave. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel that. You know, I, I'm a military brat, so I moved all the way around. So I lived in Nebraska, Virginia. But, like, moving to San Antonio, it's so hard to compare. I mean, there's so much life here. There's so much going on. And even just UTSA as a school, watching us being built up and watching all the cool things we're doing, it's like, I get why you don't want to leave. That's why I work here now, because I don't want to leave. I don't, you know, I'll go back to school if I got to. But what, what's your favorite memory? Uh, so I'm also a transfer. Okay. I transferred from Miles Community College in Miles City, Montana. Okay. And, um, you know, like he said, being here is just a great experience. 
and you know I'm just grateful for the opportunity that I got and you know I don't I don't want to leave either you know just all the people all the wonderful places you can go all the things you can see it's just it's just a great place to be so talk to me about the transfer process so what what pushed you to come here to San Antonio UTSA what what was like the deciding factor that made you know I want to play basketball here what was that like for, my, for myself uh, you know dealing with the transfer portal and all like you know, you have coaches that say they want you, and, you know, they give you pretty much the run around. It's like, you know, trying to get a job, basically. And with, you know, my coaches here, they actually was like, hey, we want you, you know, we want to get you down here. I actually had a visit. Uh, Coach Peck, shout out Coach, Coach Peck. Shout out Coach yeah, shout out Coach Peck. He told me to cancel my flight with one of my other schools that I, that I told Dang. him I had a first visit on. And so I did it anyway, and then once I made my visit, it was pretty much a done deal. That's sweet. Yeah. That's, that's a good deal. What about you? What what pushed you to come to here? Um, the thing that pushed me to actually come here was uh, coaches, Coach Hood's ability to actually go look at some things that was uh, affecting my recruiting process. And so Coach Hood hit me up, and he actually went and said, hey, I'm going to look at these things myself. You know, I'm not going to take the word of mouth of any other person. He's going to go through it himself. And then, you know, that really helped me trust him. And then I also have, like, people close to me in the area and so I feel like it's just a good place to be all around and I'm from Houston so it's right Dang, there close to home close. that's awesome you know I that's one of the things I love about UTSA is that uh, I like a lot of coaches anybody that transfer here coaches uh, uh, employees all those students they talk about how willing everybody's willing to help you here you know there's so many times that you know even just asking questions as an employee or anything like that there's so many people like I'll help you. Other schools don't really have that too much where they're not going to go out of the way to help you or anything like that. So that's one of the things I love about UTSA. Um, last question I got for you guys, or one of the last ones, but what are you looking forward to your season this year? Definitely having a successful season. Yeah. Uh, like I said, having, you know, the chemistry. Uh, that's why, you know, I, I do as much hanging out with, with my teammates, you know, because I, those are guys that I'm going to go to war with. Yeah. So definitely, you know, of course, having, you know, a close bond with them and also winning. That's, you know, that's pretty much obvious, though. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Um, I'm just looking forward to seeing how we all play together. Like you said, the chemistry, you know, I feel like we have a very talented group of guys that are all like new. And most of us, this is our first time playing with each other. Yeah. And so I feel like playing with each other for the first time and just playing games and trying to win and playing our hardest is what I'm looking forward to the most. Awesome. So when and where can we find you guys? When? What's your schedule looking like? When's that coming up? Our schedule is actually coming out pretty soon. Okay. So it hasn't it hasn't been finished yet, so it's coming out pretty soon. We'll definitely give you, give you more for sure. Awesome. So everybody here watching us, I want you guys to come support the men's basketball team. Look that out on social media for the schedule. I want to thank you guys for being here, talking to me. If you guys want shout-outs, anything like that, shout-out your Twitter, shout-out whatever you want, go for it. Uh, my Twitter is Isaiah Wyatt 19, I S A I A H W Y A T T 19. Uh, my Instagram is Isaiah D Wyatt, uh, spell it I S A I A H, and then capital D, and then W Y A T T. All right, my Twitter is at underscore bless, and then two uh, zeros, and then my Instagram is just bless with the uh, circle, and then a zero. And then awesome. Thank you so much, you guys. Hey. Good luck on your season. Yes, Thank sir. you so much for being Thank on here. For us. Hey, take a good one. I want Street Fighter. We got you on Street Fighter. Yes, All right. We got it ready for you. That was two of our boys from men's basketball. Again, thank you so much for doing that. It's really awesome. What do we got going up? Put the put the game on the screen. I want to see. Put that on the main screen. I want to see what's going on. I'm just gonna pick up the mic now. It's one of those days. We got. Luigi's going off this game. What's up? Yeah, he comes in with me. Come down with me. I said Luigi's going off, and then he hit a Bowser coin. <laughs> also, we got chicken and pickle here. I know. Catering is a uh, shout out. to do a little different because it's, um, it's not wings. I know it's not wings, but not shout wings. out chicken and pickle, local here, San Antonio. Shout out chicken and we got, We love them. Um, they're really close by. They're actually really cr they're close to the street. We play p play some pickleball over there. Have a good time. Um, you know, I uh, I when uh, pickleball was like becoming a big thing a long time ago, like 2019, 2020. I went to summer camp, and okay. they were like, "Hey, check out this really cool new game that we have. It's called pickleball." And I was like, "What in what is this?" And then I just kind of felt like tennis for a while, and then I got into it. So, 
Do you know what Blitzball is? I do. So, pickleball feels like Blitzball for tennis to me. Um, That's fair. It's a fun sport. You know, you don't know our producer Riley doesn't know what Blitzball is. What are Blitzball? Okay, it's Blitzball, a plastic ball. It's like baseball, plastic ball. Same idea. That's true. Um, let's check chat here. Tell me what's going on in chat. Oh, someone asked if we had a Val team, I think. Who's that answer? Do we have a Val team? Yeah, yeah. Roadrunner Gaming has a, a Valorant team. Okay, wow. He's So he's talking in his own mind. <laughs> we can't even hear Riley. Wow. No, I don't hear what he says. It's not a real sport. It's like band. Oh, wow. You want to talk about band? We can talk about band if you would like to talk about band. Chill. Okay. Yeah, let's talk Let's talk a little bit about Roadrunner Gaming. I mean, yeah. you guys had a lot of cool projects. This is Zach. This is Zach. You uh, are president? President, yes, President sir. of Roadrunner Gaming. That would be me. Um, thank you so much for allowing us to borrow you guys and set up and everything yeah. like that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but you guys are really gaining momentum here these yeah. last, you know, past year. Uh, announcing your partnership with Six Flags, mm -hmm. which is really cool with their esports stuff. Oh yeah. Um, tell me, tell me what you got going on. What's, what's going on? So I mean, it's just gonna it, like, kind of on like the front half of things. It's just another normal season for us. Uh, a lot of our teams are going to compete. A lot of our teams are uh, getting the, kind of that proper funding that they needed. The uh, the initial push from the school that can really allow people to like actually go out and compete. Um, as of this year, we have three nationally ranked teams, um, and the best one being Rainbow Six. Okay. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that's a, it's a trivia question later, so we'll talk about that. <laughs> okay. But um, Rainbow Six is up there. We've got fantastic Smash players um, and a wonderful Apex. So I would actually like to highlight our Apex team uh, because uh, my coordinator, his name is Teach or mm. Anthony, um, is actually pioneering Apex Collegiate Sports, okay. uh, Collegiate Esports. Um, he's like kind of spearheading that whole thing, and we're kind of right at the center of that, just kind of pushing forward that idea of innovation. That's awesome. So, who are your esports? Who, who are all your Apex guys that are doing good? Uh, so we've got uh, Nevin. We have uh, Teach himself, Kuzer, and the last one is a name that is currently uh, Juice. Uh, his name's Justin. Okay. Um, that's our team with our with our coach slash coordinator. So what's what are you guys looking forward to next as the uh, as a team and everything? Uh, kind of just like a sense of unification mm -hmm. here. Um, we're really getting that push from the school, like I was saying earlier. We're really finally getting that proper funding, proper support. Um, so th those are kind of the things that we're looking forward to is just to try, see how far we can like ride that wave, um, especially going forward because we did so well without it. Yeah. It's like imagine what we can do with it, you know. So where can people find you? If I want to join Roadrunner Gaming, how do I join? Easiest way to find us is on Rowdy Link. You can go to Rowdy Link, type in the word gaming, and we're the first one that pops up. Okay. And after that, it's got all of our links right there on the page, our Discord, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, and our Twitch. Let's give a look here on our game. Who's winning? Luigi's still winning. Luigi is winning. That's Luigi's Lu going crazy. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I think we're going to load up some Street Fighter here in just a little bit. Yeah, it's got some Street Fighter going. We're on, only on round five, so um, if you want to get me somebody else to interview. Yeah, yeah. Who, uh, let's go see who we can go find. I'll be back with somebody in just a second. <laughs> no clue. But I want to thank everybody for joining in the chat. If you got any questions, let us know. Um, but it's a great day here at UTSA. A lot of energy, like I said before. A lot of students. Let's see. Do you nab 10 coins? Do it. Oh, hey. Hello. Who do we got? Uh, Olivia. Olivia? What do you... What sport... What's your major? Uh, I'm on the women's golf team, and uh, my major is business management. Okay, awesome. Well, nice yeah. to meet you, Olivia. Yeah, nice uh, to meet you. Thanks for being here. Um, so, I'd really just like to learn about your time. Um, what's the best part about being part of the women's golf team? Um, I think, like, the team, um, like, my teammates are all really great friends. Uh, the coaches, like, always willing to help. It's, like, a really nice environment to be around. Yeah. Like the facilities that we have, we're really lucky to play out at TPC San Antonio. Yeah. Um, so yeah, really lucky. That's awesome. So what what pushed you to go to golf? What I mean, what was that process like? Um, so my dad's always played golf, and uh, when I was younger, I had like plastic clubs, and I just like hit in the garden, 
and then I started going to the driving range and then I just kind of took it from there. Yeah. Um, so for you, competitively, what do you do outside of golf to, you know, that you think that might help improve your game or, you know, give you an edge? Is there anything that, you know, helps you at all with that? Well, like with the team, we do like strength and conditioning workouts. So that's always helps like with power to hit the ball further. And then like a couple of things I do like to switch off outside of golf. Like I like doing like paddle boarding and okay. like stuff, which is like, I don't really think it helps golf, but it's just nice to like switch off and just like do something else. So. How long have you been here at UTSA specifically? Uh, I'm a sophomore. So, sophomore. so yeah. second year here? Yes, yeah. Okay. What pushed you to come to here at UTSA? Um, well, I knew that I wanted somewhere warm, um, so I'm from England, and the weather isn't great there, yeah. it's like raining a lot. It's like the weather so, today. Yes, yeah. So I wanted somewhere warm, and I loved the head coach here, um, and the great golf course we play on. Those were like the three main things, really. I mean, it's really scary to move all the way from England, all the way to here, little San Antonio. Like, what... So San Antonio, because it's warm and everything like that, but why UTSA? What what was the final push for you? Um, definitely the coach, I think. Yeah, I really liked her. Like, we did a lot of Zoom calls, um, so I got to meet her, and, yeah, it was cool. That's awesome. Yeah, no, we have, I mean, that's kind of, talking to all our athletes, that's really the overlaying stories that we have amazing coaches here that, you know, are willing to do anything for their athletes and, there you know help you grow and everything like that um so since you've been here since your sophomore year what's been your favorite memory so far at utsa um good question i think just like traveling with the team going to like new states playing on different golf courses i think that's been yeah what's the, the what's the best golf course you see in, in the u.s so far um, we played Belmar Golf Club in Oklahoma. That was really nice. It was in really good condition. Yeah. Awesome. You know, I'm I'm very ignorant on golf, but you know, I'm excited to keep watching you guys learn. Um, so, are you a gamer at all? Do you play games? Um, not really. I play a little bit of Mario Kart and stuff. We have one uh, in our apartment, and sometimes we play like on the road. But I'm not a massive gamer. No. No. Hey. The fact, the fact that you play Mario Kart in general is good. That's awesome. So uh, what are you looking forward to ha doing this season for you? Um, I'm really looking forward to, again, like traveling to new states, different tournaments. Um, you know, I mean, we've got a goal to win conference championships, so we're yeah. always like working towards that every day. So. Yeah. Awesome. Um, let's see. Do you have any advice for all the new Roadrunners today? Yesterday was our first day of class here. A lot of new people. I know I had a lot of people asking me, where's the main building? Where is this building? So what do you have any advice for any of the new students that are coming in? Um, definitely I'd say just get involved and like meet people. I think that's one of like, you know, the biggest things. Like the more people you meet, like the yeah. more Yeah. That's all hey, good to know. So um, where can student find your schedule? What's your schedule like for golf? How's that going? Uh, so we normally practice in the mornings and then we have classes in the afternoon, uh, which I prefer because it's a bit cooler in the mornings. It's very hot right now. Yeah, how? What's that? I mean, you're you're playing in like. Do you? What's your? What's the? When do you play golf? Like, what's the schedule like for that? What is that? Like, when does your actual tournaments or things like that? Could you, could you walk me through that, please? Yeah. So we have our first tournament starts on the 9th of September. Okay. I think we play four tournaments in the fall and then five in the spring. Um, and each tournament is like you get there, practice round, and then the next day you play 36 holes, okay. and then the day after is 18 holes. So it's like a lot of time out from yeah. classes and stuff. That's but. awesome. Well, we'll keep an eye on you guys. So you said September 9th? Yes. September yeah. 9th, they're going to be doing a tournament, so we'll keep an eye on that. Where can people follow you on Twitter, Instagram? Can people follow you? Yes, yeah. Uh, UTSA Women's Golf. We have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I think, yeah. We're normally quite active on there. Awesome. So. so you hear that? Women's Golf on Twitter, Instagram. Thank you, Olivia, so much for coming here, talking to me. I really, really appreciate that. Thanks for coming to UTSA. That's awesome. Coming from England. That's really, really cool to me. Um, so we'll keep an eye on you guys, but thank you so much. Thank you. Nice Have a good one. You. Good luck in your rest of the season. Thank you. All right. Hmm? What are we playing?
We got Mario Party still going on. I got to see the screen over here. Let's see. Luigi still. Luigi still winning. I got to see the screen. <laughs> We got a lot going on. Let me see what chat's going on. We got chat over here. Mario Kart. We need some Mario Kart. We want Mario Kart. We got a Mario Kart rally going on in chat. We're working. Hey, we want it. Don't get me wrong. We want to play Mario Kart too. Unfortunately, the Switch won't let us right now. So. We're just out on campus. We're in the beautiful, beautiful race facility. The Roadrunner Athletic Center of Excellence. Um, what a beautiful building this is. If you haven't come and check this out. They were doing tours here yesterday, which was really cool. You got to see the locker rooms, um, the team meetings room. We're actually in the team meeting room on the race facility. And I'm so thankful for the athletics uh, team for allowing us to be here and doing this. Um, Mario Kart, Mario Kart. People, <laughs> people want Mario Kart. I, me too. We're hoping we can get it going. Um, we have a hot one, a rowdy one segment. Um, we're getting emergency help. We're getting Mario Kart emergency help. We're still going here. How's everybody doing in the chat? Thank you guys for, you know, being here again. Um, what's, up? what's my favorite game? Ooh. So right now I'm playing a lot of Rocket League. Um, I got over a thousand hours. Just hit Champ 2. Let's go. C2. Happy with that. Um, Apex just got a big update lately, so we're back on Apex. Um... What else? I play a lot of League of Legends, support main. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm in for whatever. A lot of cool games going on. Um, he's behind the camera. Where's that? Behind the camera. Helping us. <laughs> well, we are really trying to get um, Mario Kart running. We're about to do Factor Fizz, actually, here in a couple minutes. Let me check my schedule. You know, surprising, surprisingly, what's up? Like till 10? Oh, what time we're switching? A couple minutes here. To what? Factor fees. Yeah, we can do one person. I'll just have switch out. We need cups. What kind of fat? Get some cups and we get. We need a bottle opener. What kind of fat? We got some backs. We got some trivia questions. No. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. About what? A history about what? Do we have cups? We need, I mean, we need something. I mean. Yeah, we need something. How's everybody doing? I'm still enjoying this game of Mario, or Mario Party Superstars. Honestly, looking at everything, whoever's Donkey Kong has like a secret win here if they play their cards right. I need Donkey Kong. What round are they on? Six. What's my favorite UTSA memory? Okay. 
Um, so I've been here since 2016. I was a transfer student from Northwest Vista, and um, I was a communications degree. And I would say my favorite memory. So I actually wor used to work on uh, the Phonathon, and you know I made a lot of I made a lot of friends there. Um, favorite memory, you know, we're so close to Six Flags. I used to come out of work at 9 p.m. after making phone calls all day, and uh, Six Flags in the middle of the summer, you know, they always had those fireworks. So, you know, every day I would leave work um, and be in the parking lot, go into my car, and I just got to see fireworks every day, which is something special. You know, it makes me really appreciate UTSA, living in San Antonio, and just uh, everything about that. What do we got? Donkey got one. How do you win? <laughs> Woo! What's up? I need athletes. Six. Dude, I'm telling you, Mario Mario Party cutscenes. Yeah, it's a sixty minute round. Mario Party's rough with that. We can cut off at eight if you want to cut off at eight. We can have Mario Party while I'm doing Factor Fizz. Let's just have it in the background. Let's get let's get Factor Fizz running. All right. We don't gotta put. I can just read them. We're fine. I got him here. Grab. Who is our factor fizz person? Who wants to do factor fizz? Let's go. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, I need. Okay. You can take all of them. Just sit them behind. Okay. And then. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm already here. And just put them around. And then okay. you can take this mic. And just... Okay. So uh, we're gonna do a second fist again. Ooh. I'm loud. Yeah. <laughs> We got a, do we got a bottle opener? I think they're twist. They're not twist. They're not twist? Wow. All right. I have a car key you can use. Well, that's something. Okay. You're going to be over here. Okay. Setting up for Factor Fizz. Hello. Yeah, you guys are good there. Wait, you down there? two. They can we can do rotating chairs. Just yeah. come in and out. Okay. All right. Who wants to be my first person? You got it. You're up. You? All right. There's not food on my face, right? No. You're, you're good. <laughs> you're so good. I know. I'm like. I know. Yeah, so I'll explain factor phase a little bit. So we got we got trivia. Every time you get an answer right, you don't got to drink a soda. Every round, we got sodas over here, ranging from horchata. We got cucumber soda, sounds kind of nice. Uh, all the way to bacon soda, enchilada soda. Um, so every round, we're just going to switch you guys out. Uh, yeah. We feel good? How are you feeling? We're feeling confident? All right. I need my I need my first soda. You want good or bad? Give me give me give me start start easy. <laughs> I love your dirt. Is that dirt? I think that is dirt soda. That's dirt. 
<laughs> Give me horchata. Give me horchata. Horchata's easy. All right. Here's the problem. I got I need a bottle opener. Okay. No, nah, just take a little. Okay. Gotta take a little sip. Okay. So what we got, guys, is Factor Fizz. Uh, we got Mario Party still playing in the background. Very intense game. All right. We got Factor Fizz now. Who do we have here for Factor Fizz? Question one. Leah. Leah, what's your major? What year are you? I'm a junior, and I'm studying architecture. Awesome. What's your favorite part about being UTSA so far? Um. Um, being close to home, I would say. Like, I know, like, a lot of the areas around here, so being close to home. Awesome. So, how do you feel about trivia? Where are you at? Where are you at right now? You got, I mean, we're going to talk about the first one. We got horchata soda, which kind of sounds nice. Not bad. But why do you feel about trivia in general? Where are you at? I think it depends on the genre. So, okay. Like, history, trivia, not so much. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm going to, I think I'm going to give you a hard one first here, number okay. one. Okay. Number one, what is the most popular game of history? A, Tetris. B, Minecraft. C, GTA 5. D, Pokemon. I'm going to go with Tetris. Tetris? What is the most popular game of all time of history? The answer is not Tetris. It is Minecraft. Answer is Minecraft. So we're going to give you a little soda here. We're going to... We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. All right. She got to drink the horchata. How is it? It's not bad? It's good? That's good. Okay. All right. We'll switch you out. Next up. You're up next. All right. What's your name? What's your major? What year are you? Uh, my name's Idol Ramon. Uh, I am a se my senior year, and my major is public health. Awesome. What's your favorite part about being at UTSA as a senior? Um, I'd say the environment's really nice. Uh, it's it's like it's big, but it's not like Houston big, like where it's just like all the time just your stress of so much traffic. I mean, the traffic's not very great <laughs> here, but like yeah. it's it's big, but it's not like crazy big. I guess. Yeah, we got. Sometimes we're called the the biggest small city. Yeah, we have that makes sense. we have we're a big city, but we got the small city vibes. You know, a lot of people friendly here. Um, let's see. I need another soda. I need a. I want a hard one. Give me. Let's get dirt. You want get? Give him dirt. He I wants want dirt. dirt. Oh, no, I don't you want, want dirt. dirt bro. You want dirt. He said, I want. The dirt. I want the worst one. I, I don't even think that's the worst one. If you want me to be honest. Really? Okay. I think this is the worst one. You got a bottle it? Yes, please. It's a lot. Right. Come on, man. Look at this thing. Okay. Camera. I'm alright. <laughs> All right. That's crazy. Okay. Dirt soda. It's in my blood already. <laughs> All right. We got dirt soda. Here. Here. Bro, that smells like dirt. Is that the ranch? Oh, no, that's the orchata. That's orchata. It's like, it's like a hit. It's kind of nice. Okay. 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 This is a UTSA question. You ready for this? In the election of selecting UTSA's mascot, the Roadrunner is booted off the election. Which two mascots were almost chosen? Oh, I have no idea. We have A, the Armadillos and the Stars, B, the Toros and the Vaqueros, C, the Jaguars and the Eagles, D, the Pumas and the Groundhogs. I got to go with the, what was the first one? Uh, armadillos and Stars. We were almost instead these instead of the Roadrunners. I don't, it's not it's not vaqueros because that's UTRGV. Okay. So they they've been that for a while. What were the other? What was what was uh, two and three? Um, you got jaguars and eagles and pumas and groundhogs. I'm gonna go with A. You're going with A. So in the election of UTSA's mascot, the runner is booted off the election. Which two mascots were almost chosen? The answer is armadillos and stars. Oh, right. You did it. Hey, good I job. Still, I still want to taste. You want to taste? Hey, give them a little taste. How do we got? Tastes like dirt? It's a, it has a hint. It has a hint of a little, dirt. A little hint of dirt. Oh. It's like a hint of dirt. Like, hey, if you get... It, it like fell. It fell in dirt. If you get the answers right, I'll drink with you. Oh, nice. 
I don't know if I want to drink all of it. But. No, I'll oh. Oh. Tony said no. No. Hello? No. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, Aries, my experts. Oh, God. That's right. Uh, you guys, we got a trash over there, I think. You go. You're next? Yep. All right. All right. Um... Okay, who do we have? What's your name, major, year? Um, I'm Ella, my major is marketing, and I'm a freshman. Okay, awesome, first year. How's that going? You excited to be a freshman? Yeah, I'm really just trying to get into the campus life and stuff like that. Most of my classes are online, so I'm really trying to make an effort to get on campus. Okay, awesome. What, what brought you over to San Antonio, UTSA? Um, track. Okay. <laughs> So you're on a track team, so what are you looking forward to in your track season here? Um, I'm looking forward to just getting better. It's really what I want to do is just grow and get better and hopefully compete at a great level. So. Awesome. Let's grab a soda here. I see a soda that I want. Give me sweet corn. <laughs> Give me sweet corn. Can I have a bottle, please? That can't be that bad. You think that's a top two? I'd say, I'd, I'd say it could go one or both ways. This smells like corn. Oh, yeah. It That's corn. Like That's actually just corn. Do you, the audience, want, you guys want to smell that? You want to see what that? <laughs> that is too much like corn. Yeah, but that's wrong. <laughs> okay. It, it's, it's corn. It's literally just corn in a soda. All right, we got a UTSA question for you. Okay. So, this will be interesting since you're a freshman. Yeah. One thing about us here on UTSA on campus, we have a chap cat. We have. A We have chap cat. Okay. We have a cat on campus. We have a cat oh, colony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So, what is the name of our beloved feline chaparral cat? Mm -hmm. Is it A. David. B. Aaron, C. John, or D. Harry? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Harry. Harry, the answer. What is the name of the chat cat? The lovely, the beloved feline of Chapel Village. The answer is Harry. Woo! Nice. All right. Well, I guess I gotta drink this. I got I got sweet corn to drink. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I hate corn, by the way. I want. Uh, I, I'm not a. I kind of want to try it. You're actually bonkers for that. Oh my god. Yeah, it smells like corn. That's not good. You want to try? Hey, go for it. It tastes delicious. <laughs> What's your it tastes like corn. <laughs> <laughs> A raving reviews. It's like fizzy, and I don't know. It kind of hits you like, oh, that's corn. It, it's <laughs> right, but like in a like, bad way. <laughs> like first, it's like fizzy and sweet, and then like the as it like goes down your throat, you're like, oh, that's corn. It's not. It's off putting. It's not. Sprite. It's, not it, it's kind of off putting. You go for it. Go for it. All right, who we got next? You want to try corn? You want to try dirt? You want to try dirt? Dirt's interesting. You can keep that cup and you just keep pouring whatever you want. There you go. All right. Uh, what do you What do you want? We got a couple sodas to choose from. Yeah, you want? You, I want to try the enchilada. You want enchilada? That sounds kind of good. Give me enchilada. No. All right, this is an interesting bottle. I want you to read this one. What does that say down here? Y'all get your fixins. <laughs> Y'all get your fixins here. Lex, his name is Lester's fixins. There's no. 
What's the... I'm always interested to know what the ingredients are. How do you make this? <laughs> Natural and artificial flavor. That's what you like to see. Can I borrow your bottle, open, please? All right. I'll let you even choose this one. You want a video game question or a UTSA question? Yeah, give me a video game. You want a video game question? Okay. What? So let's talk about your video game experience. How? What's your gaming experience like? What do you? How into gaming are you? How much knowledge do you think you have? Uh, I think it's pretty open. It's pretty broad. Um, I I would say like a one out of ten, probably like a six seven. Okay, you got a six seven on games. Okay, so let's see. Let me give you a good question. Um, <laughs> okay, this is about my favorite, one of my favorite video games, League of Legends. That's the one. Why? <laughs> one of my favorite ones. Okay. League of Legends was originally created in what year? A little fun fact about League of Legends. A little fun fact about League of Legends. It was a clone of Dota. It was a game mode of a game mode that became a game. So, this back in the day. So, you got four questions here, or four answers. A, 2006, B, 2007, C, 2008, or D, 2009? You said it was off of one, uh, what game was it again? So, Dota was created, I think, right? It was, so World of Warcraft happened, then Dota happened, then League of Legends happened, okay. if I'm correct. 2008. Answer, when was League of Legends originally created? The answer is 2009. Oh! Close, yeah. yeah. All right. We got enchilada soda. That's good. Ooh, it's kind of it. Smells interesting. I give it a little. It's like a spicy fanta. A little bit of it, kind of. It smells like preparados. Oh. And a soda form, right? It bottoms up. There's no flavor. Oh. It's a little off-putting. Yeah. At first, but then, like you said, like, it, it's weird. It's like... It's... It, like, it wants to have flavor, but it doesn't have flavor at all. Yeah, it's kind of... Quite it's kind of even grosser than you think it would be. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. Next person... You want in? Or you want to try? Go for it. You want a gaming question? I'll give you a gaming question. I got I got you, I got you, I got you. I, you want an arcade question? I'll give you. I'll help you. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> Let's see what the chat got going on. We got a couple more questions, but how's everybody doing in the chat? Epic enchiladas, yes. Corn drink tastes like corn W. It really, you know what? I'm not a corn person, but it is kind of off-putting corn tasting like corn in soda form, but it's actually like very, you know, the enchilada soda didn't really taste like much. You're back? Okay. You want to play for enchilada soda? You don't? <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. What do you, okay, I'll give you a choice. I'll give you a choice. I'll give you a choice. I got a good one for my first one, so I feel like I really have to lock in for this one. Okay. Like, what are you looking at? You want? Like Jimmy Neutron, like, <laughs> What are we looking at? Oh. What do, you, do you want bacon? What's the one behind it? What's that one? Peanut butter jelly. Lovely. I'll take that. Oh, let's try peanut butter jelly. Can I do that one? Yeah, I'll give you a hard one. Okay. Can I have a bottle opener, please? This one might be lovely. <laughs> That's the jelly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. It's in there. <laughs> it's a, it. Peanut butter and jelly, both of them are coming through. Mm. All right. I'll give you a UTSA question. Um, this is a sports question. Okay. How many varsity teams does UTSA have? I know there's a lot. If I get 
Uh, like the there's multiple choice. Okay. okay. A, 14. B, 15. C, 16. D, 17. So what, like, what determines varsity? Like, That's what are, a great question. I thought, why not all of them? NCAA, right? I'm not the one that wrote these questions. <laughs> I feel like it would be... It, it, it I'll give you it's NCAA, anything you everything else is intramural, so it's NCAA. So, like, trigger warning, like, real sports? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, we have... I'm about to try and count. Okay, um, cheer, football, basketball, soccer. Do we have... Uh, track, obviously. What else? Football, basketball, soccer, volleyball. Did I say that? No. Okay, volleyball. Golf. Look at you helping me. Golf. Help you. Tennis. Um, I know we have. Oh, is that NCAA? Thank you. Yep. Nine. What are we missing? We don't have a sports. Women's soccer. I think I did. Oh, right. Men and so are. See, that's the thing. Men and women. Those are separate. We're starting over. So. <laughs> Go for so it. Go I'll, for I'll, it. I'll, hold, I'll hold your men. Okay, 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 perfect, perfect. <laughs> so we part. have track. We're doing men? Yes. Okay, men and women. Hold on. Uh, is track and cross country? That's one, Those right? Are <laughs> track no, that can't. Is that a, I think we're one. They said sport. You wrote these questions? I wrote them. Okay. I wrote them all. Track and cross country is one, right? They did, they did say sport. <laughs> I think we're I think all. It's, I think, I it's think one. we're one. I think it's one. I think so. I think it's Can you we, we have audience help. Okay. One more time. We're getting audience participation. This is serious now. <laughs> okay. How many varsity teams does UTSA have? Varsity teams. Okay, varsity teams. Okay, I'll do men. I'll do men. So, so many women. Track, track and cross country, right? Yeah. That's one. Track and cross country. Soccer? No. We don't have a men's soccer team. Okay. Uh, vo vo basketball? Okay. <laughs> Volleyball for the women. Um, tennis, men and women. Yeah. Golf, men and women. Yeah. Um, what else do we have? Uh, cheer. Um, oh, but there. It's cheer one. Cheer's one. It's cheer's I think that's one. one. No, it's just one. It's I think just that's one. one. Um, we need to get to at least 14, so we're missing a lot. Is there like rugby or something? Or water polo or like. Football. What sports are football? Football. football. We forgot about forgot football. About football. <laughs> did you say I did. I did. Men and women basketball. Did you get football? Yeah. You counted them. Okay. So we're at. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Just say fourteen. <laughs> my boss. My boss, Heather Green, is in the chat, and she just put an answer down, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it is the correct answer. So, she knows everything. She knows all these trivia questions. Uh, what are you guys saying? Okay, how many varsity teams do UTSA have? Your final answer is what? 14. 14. The answer is 17. So what did I miss? All of them? <laughs> what did, can she tell us what we missed? Yeah, Heather, help us out. Type all the... Oh, yeah, all of them out. Type them out. We need the help on that one. But. <laughs> That's crazy. Because I know we have like a weightlifting team or like powerlifting or something. I don't know. Oh, we got Mario Kart going on. Dang, I'm like, I don't know. What am I missing? So rugby and um, what's it, powerlifting are both club sports. They do not classify as varsity because they are not sponsored by the school. Yes. There's 17. We're still trying to figure out this. I believe it's men's. Let me look it up. I'll give you that exact list. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. Softball. Softball, baseball. I don't think you did. It's hard to do it in your head. I think you said golf like twice. <laughs> hey, do you want to take this one too since you helped? <laughs> you got Peter? Is it the PBJ? Yeah. Here's PBJ. You want to take that session? They're still trying to. They're still trying to do this. <laughs> Football, men's basketball, women's basketball, baseball, softball, golf, men's golf, women's golf, uh, tennis, men's, women's, men and women's tennis, track and cross country, men and women, soccer, volleyball. 
I think he said volleyball originally. We're I think she's still typing. <laughs> you can go ahead and give it a taste. PB and J right here. Honestly, it smells good. It smells good. This this is enchilada. It doesn't taste like a lot. But the peanut butter is not. Wait, what, what are we saying? It's not bad. Like at first, I was like, I would drink this, but the aftertaste, the aftertaste isn't. Is it's like the thing about these sodas is that they they don't taste bad, but they don't sit well in your stomach. <laughs> That's really your your stomach's not excited for having these in your body. Yeah, the initial taste is good. Uh, she says she's missing one. We'll find out. We'll find out which one we're missing. All right. Yeah. Okay. Give me another one. Oh, yeah. Our our production our, our production team is trying the sodas and they're not very happy over there. Um Can I have uh, the bacon soda please? Heck yeah. That's got to be the one, right? That's yeah. the one. That's it's the, the one. famous one. It's the one. Bacon soda. Not to break your heart, but this is artificially flavored. Oh, not man. real bacon. No bacon grease? No. Nah, there's no bacon grease on the top. I know. <laughs> Can I get that bottle open, please? <laughs> Straight bacon? I feel like that's going to be the strongest flavor. It smells like a pool. That's weird. It smells like, get, oh, I got bacon. I don't really, I didn't get bacon. I just got bacon. Okay. I got a bit of smoke. All right. Video game or UTSA question? I got a UTSA question last time. You want a video game one? I'll go video game. I'm not very good with, uh, I mean, I did get the Minecraft one right. But. You did get Minecraft. Hey, I'll give you. Oh, I got you. Hold on. Since you got Minecraft, let's keep going on that. You play Minecraft before? You of Mine course. Of how course. Much, how much Minecraft do you play? I mean, I've. We got. We got bacon. Uh, I feel like everyone, every once in a while, has that like that little Minecraft span where they like just the two week period. I was gonna say that. I was in the two weeks where you just grind out Minecraft. And then it just the world just dies down once you once you get kind of far. Okay, so Minecraft, one of the biggest games in the whole wide world, was bought out by Microsoft back in 2013, 14, one of those two. Not a fact, not a trivia question. Um, so Microsoft was bought out for, uh, or Minecraft was bought out by Microsoft for how much? A, a hundred million. B, eight hundred million. C, one point five billion. D two point five billion. One point five billion. One billion. One point five billion. The answer. Minecraft was bought out by Microsoft for how much money? Two point five billion. They made bank. Oh, of course, it's the biggest game ever. So. And they're still making. Money. And they're still making money. Ooh. How how are you feeling? You smelled it? This one's strong. This is definitely one of the stronger ones. What, what's what's oh. the what 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 notes are you getting? I have no clue. That's <laughs> the scary part. We got. I have no clue. Did you pour pour yourself? You one? want? Hey, you need to smell it. I got a mixture I, I, of enchilada with this one too. I can't I can't make it out. That's why. Can you make it? I out? got I got a little bit of bacon, and a lot of bit of chlorine. Yeah. A lot of chlorine taste. Well. Hey, it's, thank that, it's that artificial. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh that, is, that is terrible. No. No. Uh, bacon. No. That is terrible. No. It doesn't even taste like bacon. No, bacon bad. Ugh. Bacon's bad. Hell no. Where is he?
We're trying to get JT to come over and drink some. Uh, he's playing Mario Party, Mario Kart. Show you guys what we got going on. We still got Mario Kart going on. You want to try corn? Everybody's oh. I didn't. I didn't like corn. Everybody's coming over here. We're interested to see what we got going on. I want to see your reaction to corn. It's gonna be. It's like corn. It shouldn't taste like corn. Tastes like corn. I wish you guys had taste o vision smell-o-vision, all this stuff. These sodas are pretty bad. What do you, you think this is the worst one? A hundred percent bacon is the worst one, for sure. Not even close. I think the best one I had was probably, I mean, I didn't get to try the peanut butter jelly, but that's probably pretty good. Cucumber. It wasn't bad. I'm, I got my, my money on uh, cucumber being the, the best, the I, most pleasant. I bet you cucumber's pretty good. But, all right. Well, hey, we'll keep playing for bacon. Who wants in for bacon? Oh, yeah, you Who need. wants? Anybody who'll play for bacon? You do video games bacon? Okay, give me here. Video games bacon. Ranch? Okay, you got bacon? Wait, we got her coming in for. Got her coming in for bacon. You want a video game one? <laughs> All right. She wanted a bit. What, what's your name? Wait, which one? Cheyenne. Cheyenne, major? Yes. Psychology with a foreign language minor. What year? Sophomore. So what sport? Basketball. He plays basketball? How's that going for you? Are you excited for you? women's basketball? They're awesome. You guys are awesome. Basketball, yay! <laughs> so what are you excited about this season? Just playing with the team and proving so many people wrong. We have, you know, that's what we've been doing here at UTSA is proving people wrong. We're not supposed to be war up, but we are. Because, you know, we're fighters, we're scrappers, you know, and we're really good at what we do. So we're playing for bacon flavor for soda here. We just tried to bacon and it's not great. Um, Cheyenne wanted a video game question. How do you feel about Halo? What's your Halo thoughts? <laughs> I don't know much about it. Okay, well, this would be a good one. Halo is a very beloved video game series. What is the name of the latest release? A. Halo Revengeance. B. Halo Infinite. C. Halo Protegender. D. Master Chief Collection. Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite B? Correct. Yeah, hey. Uh, that's me. I got to get bacon. Great. It's not good. I just bought Halo Infinite. It's not good. It's really... You know, it's like... It's like if you ate bacon, but like a plastic version of it. Like burnt popcorn, right? Yeah. Yeah. You want another one? Okay. Oh, I got you. You play Valorant. What you know about Valorant? You suck at Valorant? Okay. Which one of these is a Valorant character? Uh, a, Mozzie. C, Winston. D, Akali. C, Raze. Wait, I messed that up. A, Raze. B, Mozzie. You find the answer? Which one of these is a Valorant agent? Raze? That is correct. Wait, you're a gamer. Yeah, text it to me. Yeah, I, I'll just keep. Yeah, I'll keep questioning on your on your video game questions. I got. We still got bacon on the line. In the game Overwatch 2, there are two teams that go against each other. How many team? What is, team versus team? How many versus how many? Is it A five v five, B six v six, three three or C three v three, D seven v seven? Five? Oh no, I didn't play Overwatch 2, nor did I watch any streamers play Overwatch 2. 
There was a big change between Overwatch and Overwatch 2, and it was how many teams play against each other. I'm definitely going to have to drink, because I don't Oh, no. I didn't play Overwatch 2. Just came out, free game, deleted Overwatch 1, Overwatch 2. Six. Answer six. Yeah. It used to be five. That's what I'm saying, because you said there's a difference. It used to be five, it's then it went to six. Five. Wait, it went, it's the other way. Actually, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. It went from six it went to five. Six to five. Our question master's wrong. That's why I got kicked out of my team. It went from six to five, and I was the worst player on that team. <laughs> my bad. Oh, no. I drink up. Hey, looks like. I got the right answer on your shit. You did get the right answer, Mishi. I'll drink with you. I am, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hey. <laughs> All right. Last one. We got ranch dressing soda. You want ranch dressing? You in? It don't matter. I'm probably going to be taking all. It is not. You know, I came onto the stream saying I'm not going to take any of these drinks or eat any of these hot sauces, and here I am. I'm unhappy. Um. Okay. Who do we have? What's your name? What's your major? What sport you play? My name is JT Clark. My major is in women's studies, and I play football. What position do you play? Wide receiver. Wide receiver. Awesome. What number are you? Number one. Number one. How? What are you looking forward to this year for football? We got a big year coming up for us. What? What are you looking forward to the most? Um, just having a healthy season. Let me say that. I want you to have a healthy season. I wish the best for you guys. What do you feel about video games and where is your knowledge of video games? Where does that lie? Okay, so my knowledge on video games might not be um, that experience, but the only games that I normally play are like Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, or Fortnite. Okay, Call of Duty. Let's see. <laughs> I got a Call of Duty question for you. In the Call of Duty series, what game mode revolves around advancing weapons through Eliminating other players. Gun game? Gun game's the answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll take a sip of it. That was an easy one. It was easy. I'll give him another one. You gave the easiest uh, one. Let me see how I that one. Is that one the worst? My eyebrow's twitching. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel about ranch? How's your? What's your ranch opinions? Uh, I think the best ranch is at Wingstop. Wingstop got you like ranch, so you you like ranch. Good, great, great. We got a we got a our our first round of applause for was for Wingstop Ranch. Um, okay. Apex Legend question here. What video game series is connected to Apex Legends? Warframe, Fortnite, Titanfall, or Destiny? Apex. They are in the same universe and they share characters actually. Oh my god. Well, one, it's not Destiny. The silence in this room is deafening, by the way. Okay, can you give me the options again? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We'll run, hey, we'll run through it again. A. Warframe. B. Fortnite. C. Titanfall. D. Destiny. I'm gonna go with Fortnite. You're gonna go Fortnite? Well, every single game is connected to Fortnite. Apex is not. The answer is Titanfall. I was thinking that too, bro. Titanfall. <laughs> this one, Ranch. <laughs> JC's drinking the Ranch soda. Our wide receiver, number one. Wait, do I drink all of it? Drink what you can. I'm gonna be honest, that's probably my worst one. What's your Ranch opinion? <laughs> Where does this rank between Wingstop? This is not for. This is not to be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that that's bad. That's really bad. You want to do it again? You want to run it again? You run it back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh no! Why? Sweet, sweet bacon corn. <laughs> oh, sweet bacon ranch. Sweet ranch. Sweet ranch. Did he mix it? Bacon and ranch. Let me smell it. Let me smell it. 
Dude. That smells like dirty socks. <laughs> Somebody said that smells like dirty socks. Okay, I'm getting a question. Did you text me the question, Zach? Okay. Oh, this is hard. This is a hard one. Real hard one. Esports question. So, the world that we live in is esports, um, competitive gaming. Um, what do you know about Rocket League? Nothing. Okay. Good luck. Team Vitality just recently won the Rocket League World Champion Series. What country is Team Vitality from? A, the U.S., B, France, C, Germany, D, Egypt. And you said what's their name again? Vitality. What did, what did USA do to you? And the options one more time? <laughs> A, the U.S., B, France, C, Germany, D, Egypt. Germany? The answer's France. Ooh, we got sweet corn and ranch. The problem with these, these taste too much like sweet corn and ranch. It does, and that's the... That's, that's the, that's the off-putting part about it. I don't think I've had this one yet. You have not had it. It tastes like corn. What do we got? Ooh, downed it? Oh. oh. I don't want to be the reason why we lose the football season, so we good. <laughs> How are we feeling? You feeling good? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good. I, I want to thank you so much for coming on here, playing the game with us. I think we're going to play some fighting games here soon and doing hot ones. Um, what can people find you? What What are you looking forward to? Where can people find your social media, everything like that? Uh, you can find uh, you can find me on Instagram most of the time um, at dc one a R K underscore on Instagram. Um, I do follow back. So. <laughs> hey, it sounds good. <laughs> yeah. And what else again? Uh, when's our first game? Oh, the first game is September 2nd in Houston, and the first home game is September 9th versus Texas State. So September 9th. We're trying to pack the dome. We want all the fans to be there to so show up, enjoy, watch JT, get some touchdowns, get some wins for us. So uh, thank you so much. Have a good one. Good luck in your season, man. I think we need to do one with every single flavor. You want an you want an all flavor one? Oh my god! Can we all try and answer the hard one? You, you can all you want to all answer a hard one? I'll do. I want to do one with every single drink. <laughs> all right. Just a little bit though. Okay. This is this is. I've been I've been requested that we do one more question with every single drink we have. I want everybody to know this is not my idea. We're not forcing anybody to do this. Yeah. Well, why you put it so much? <laughs> oh, now nah, that's a problem. This is just a splash of all of them. Oh. We'll split it. We'll like put it in two cups. This reminds me of Giving Day when we just ended up with a table of mess everywhere. We always end up doing this. Discuss that. Can you give me this, please? Yes, please. Oh, uh, yeah, you can leave it out. So, this last one. We're creating a new element, somebody just said. That's a great way to describe it. All right. We got a lot going on here. Nice to meet you. Okay, hold on. I'm good, I'm What's good. your name? What's your major? What year are you? I just moved up here. Uh, Gabriel Green. My major is cybersecurity, and I am a senior. Awesome. So you're a senior. You've been here for a couple of years now. What's your favorite part about being at UTSA? Favorite part? I guess the atmosphere community. It's a growing. It's a growing community. It's yeah. getting larger and larger as the time goes. We now I just moved conferences. Went from Conference USA to the American. And, bet, and I bet in a couple of years we'll be going to like Big Twelve, and then you know. Aiming for the moon. Okay, here's what we got. We got a couple questions. We've mixed all the sodas. This was not my idea. This was the audience idea. Just keep making that clear. Uh, so we got ranch, sweet corn, peanut butter jelly, enchilada, bacon, and dirt. We got dirt. Here, split this one. Split this one. I'll split. Yeah. Hey, I'm on the line here too. All right. You, wanna, you, wanna, you guys want to get that smell? Oh. 
Sweet sweet corn really comes out. It does smell good. I think that's the bacon. This could make someone throw up. This could yeah. make someone throw up. All right. I don't even know the answer to this question. I'm... What's the HCS? Halo. Okay. A Halo question. Proceeds in Halo. They... What team claimed victory at the final of Halo Championship Series Global Invitational from 2022 to 2023 HCS Series season? Um, is it A, Phase, B, Optic, C, Space Station, D, Quadrant? I'll take D. Question D. Answer D. Quadrant? Space Station's the answer. Oh! Oh! It's not even bad. It's not bad? Uh, it can't, it cancels it out. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. No, it's really? really not. That's somehow not bad. What? Wait, that's actually kind of a lovely flavor. It it it, com it combines. Well. I'm not joking. I'm done. I'm, I quit. Uh, I'm not. I'm not joking. We created a new flavor. Uh, what is it? What's the flavor? I was thinking it's gonna be. I thought it was gonna it's kind of like an apple pie with a little bacon on it, yeah. like a little sweet, salty, spicy. It's everything. I yeah. thought it was going to be it's everything. It's everything put together. Oh, I want to try that. It's not bad. You want to take this one? Yeah. Pour a little of this. <laughs> you got to fight with an actual you, you got a fighter, <laughs> you got a fighter <laughs> joystick. It's, not oh, it's lovely compared to everything else. Compared to everything, compared to everything else, we're I lovely. Can taste a lot of, um, which one is it? All right, what do we got? All right, we're gonna be playing Street Fighter. We're doing this as hot ones. Hot ones? Are we spicy? All right, we're gonna go to intermission real quick. We gotta clean up, and we're gonna switch games over here. Hot ones like those.
So switching into our next segment, we're just letting these guys get a warm-up round in Street Fighter. We got a fight stick going on. This is legit. Okay. Hi guys, this is Riley on the mic. Commentators for Street Fighter V. Um, it looks like a clean Blanca versus Dalsum match. Uh, Dalsum has lots and lots of range, but Blanca here, he's a crazy character. Recently just won Evo, uh, Mena RD, right from uh, Dominican Republic, but Dalsum, right into the stun state. But a card punish from Blanca. He can't bring this back. It's critical or does he know the input? But Dalsum closes it out. <laughs> crazy! The foot clap! 3-4, it's 1-1. One, one. All right, Dalsum, into the dash. Crazy cancel there. Hard punish, okay. Blanca, dipping down, has to get in against Dalsum. Dalsum, one of the harder characters to get in against. It's actually insane how much pressure he's putting on. But he is in burnout state, so I have no clue how this is gonna play out. Oh, keeping that far distance with a hard kick. Are you commentating? Far right into the wall. Blanca could, has been crazy. But the reversal from Dalsum. Blanca could clutch it out. Needs a little bit. But Dalsum. Oh! The little kick. I'm just saying. Blanca, top two character. And crazy warm up, though. But I can see this going either way here. Blanca, one of the easier characters to learn here. Dalsum, as well as. I'm not going to lie, that was a top two character versus a bottom one. Um, I don't know what they're going to do. DJ, very unexplored character, hard combos. Let's see what um, let's see what the Blanca changed into. Is he going to go into Luke here? Luke here is one of the easier characters to learn. Okay, Jamie. Jamie, combo heavy character, uh, but very spam heavy. A lot of his moves feed into one another, which just makes it really, really easy to win. But going back to Blanca, Blanca is such a solid character. Having that Blanca ball out there at all times. Let's see. Modern controls for both of them. You know, modern is uh, the move here. Japan actually exploring that way more than U.S. is. Um, I believe there's a there's one player that from Evo that was using modern with Luke and actually top eight Evo, which is actually insane. But JP, one of the hard campers. Uh, I believe Blanca here wins this matchup of being 60-40. Blanca can get in really quickly with his grabs, and he just moves really, really quick across the screen. But JP, JP is one of those characters that if you zone out, you can just win. So let's see, Modern. All right, cool, going for the most basic. Let's see, Blanca. Let's see who gets in the corner first. Could JP bury a very heavy corner character, but Blanca as well. If you get into that corner, you're a complete mix-up character. Let's see what happens here. All right. Metro City downtown, what a beautiful city. Let's see what happens here. All right, let's see. JP moves on screen, going crazy here. A hard kick, hard combos here. But Blanca ball. The little kicks, the little kicks. JP is really hard at catching lows. JP needs to get him away as far as possible and fast as possible. The grab, but the getaway option. Oh, but the hard counter, and he gets it again. Does he continue the pressure though? He's in burnout state in the corner. JP going crazy here. Back into the wall, back. It's good switch around, but JP putting Blanca in that corner into the first ult. First ult of the game here, into the kick. Blanca into the corner, really hard, but the command grab with the punish it, that's gonna do a ton of damage. Bad and even game, but he catches him with a DP. Into a low. That's a crazy catch. Next one, next one, next one. Into the hard kick. 
JP just needs to get Blanca away as fast as possible. Oh, but the hard counter goes to the same can. But he catches up with the DP. That is one of Blanca's greatest moves here is the slide. Closes out so many games. But the grab, an absolute read on that move. Let's see what he follows up with. Into the kick. Into the, the mix-up. That was actually a crazy cross-up there. JP was stuck in hit stun. I have this. Uh, I think it's command list. Command list. Uh, oh, you have to do it. You have to do it after the game. Uh, <laughs> looking at the moves here, JP, um, a very campy type character. I could see this going either way. Dang, that didn't even say three, two, one, go. There is, there is, there is no world to here. No, no ownership. <laughs> oh, <laughs> block a very. So Oh, the kick, that actually, JP is struggling really hard, stuck on the wall, Blanca, can he continue the pressure? Into ult, that's a true confirm. I believe JP's dead here. <laughs> Into the kick, JP going for the low, Blanca wins once again. Blanca, one of the top two characters. I'm just saying. That's crazy. Spamming on a fight stick is one of the hardest things to do. Yeah. All right. This is the beginning of the hot sauce. Yes, sir. Blanca of Blanca. Classic is like the ones you know. Modern's like spam. Honestly. Luke, one of the easier characters to play. Jamie heavily, heavily uh, into his... Um, is drinking. He's a drinking mechanic, which actually levels up as he drinks, but it puts a, a lots and lots of lag, which is really hard. Zangief. Zangief is a hard hitter. He only needs three interactions to actually get in. If he picks Marta controls on this character, he actually just wins the game. Let's see here. If he picks Classic, he loses. He's lost already. All right, it's the Geef versus Blanca matchup. I believe Geef wins this hard carry just because of how Blanca interacts with the gameplay. It's really, really hard because um, even if you hit Geef, he does so much damage. He only needs three hits truly to get in. But Blanca, with a hard overhead, into the grab. That is actually crazy. Okay, into the grab again, but the hard punish. I can see the block, I think it. Oh, it's a hard punish once again. It's a hard read there. Oh, into the Lariat. The Lariat. Let's see. If he keeps countering, it's not going to hit. But the Blanca. Once again, the loyal heavy overhead. I'm just saying. The kick. Into the Lariat. But that beats it? I didn't know that interaction could happen. Hard kick, hard kick. If Geef gets one hard grab on him, it's then. But with that uppercut, it's so strong. He continues the pressure with that head. It's a complete safe move. And the kick, that is crazy. In the corner, calling out his, um, his button pressing. Let's go, 1-1. One, one. Game on the line, best of three. Once again in the air, Blanca has, has no aerial move, like has no aerial to catch him off. Little kick, spamming all the space moves. Once again, another space into the rolling kick. He's in the corner. What does he plan? But the critical art. Push it in. Knee again. Head. That forward medium is crazy safe. And again, now with the critical art, Blanca can change the game. But no, the turn on overhead. Says it back in his face. <laughs> it's 1 0. One, oh, one, oh. It's best 2 out of 3. Best 2 out of 3. You have to win one more. Yeah, oh, he wants to change. Blanca. Blanca, actually one of the easier characters to but it's Chun Li. Let's see, E Honda. E Honda is a very good online character. That headbutt is crazy safe. But DJ, DJ, one of the heavier characters to combo with.
Um, against the Blanca matchup, it's going to be very, very hard because Blanca has a lot of abilities just to get low. And DJ has a lot of combos that just start from mid. Guile. Guile, one of those campy characters. I, I'm wondering, Dalsim. Dalsim versus Guile, a very distance range. Let's see. Let's see what he follows up with. Goes into Blanca, all right. Into Blanca Geek once again. Sonic Boom. One of, honestly, for those top, for those top two characters, it will it will be Guile and um, and Blanca. As you can see, there's a lot of players, but I feel like JP's one of those answers that if you choose him, you have to know him to play him because he just doesn't. He's, he just like feels like something's missing from his character. Ryu, real classic character, but he's also very bottom tier. But I believe in this matchup, I believe Guile, Guile versus Ryu. Oh, choosing character still. <laughs> moving around, moving around. Dalsim versus Guile, a very, very across the stage map. I can suspect this map is going to be full stage the entire game. Sonic Boom is a crazy, crazy move, but Dalsim, Dalsim with the fireballs in his arms, they are hittable. So I wonder if Guile will call that out here. He can make this a very, very hard match. Dalsum, pulling in, back same stage. Let's see, run it back. Okay, go for the kick again. Dalsum with the slide, has a lot of unsafe moves, but ooh, great fireball. Let's see, Guile's going through, hard punch. Safe moves into the grab. That's a crazy call out. Again, into the critical heart, catching the jump off guard. Into another critical, does he punish off of this? Into the kick, Guile, crazy, crazy pressure. I did not expect him to play like that. I would expect across the stage, Sonic booms a lot of the time. But Dalsim, Dalsim kind of using those arms, getting really hard punish for him. But once again, critical art. great heavy kick. Let's see, the slide. Oh, but it whiffs just because of Dalsim's hitboxes. Back in the hit stun. Does he get a full combo? No, what's it again? But again, the critical heart. Guile, Guile and Burnout. Hard punch. Guile coming in the corner. Oh, got the good punch. Guile takes that 1-0. That is 1-1 right there. The next game decides whoever drinks the hot dog or, you know, eats it. So go back to Geef. The Geef Blanca matchup, I feel like, but, oh, Geef. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Geef Guile matchup. I feel like Guile just wins this 20 out of 10 times. Like, I feel like this matchup is literally impossible for Geef. <laughs> like, I don't think this is winnable. <laughs> Geef is a heavy grappler character, but if Guile just doesn't let him in, he just doesn't get to play the game. Again, a lariat, heavy punch. Oh, Geef. Geef needs to get some heavy hits in this game. Lariat, once again. Oh, flash kick. But Geef gets the grab. That is so much damage right out the gate. Oh, into the critical. How does Guile punish? Crazy comeback into burnout. So much damage from Geek. That one grab, that one SP grab was crazy. That was a crazy call out. All right. Guile moving back in. Geek right into his red zone. Let's see how, let's see how he plays this. Playing a little bit low. Geek can't grab him from that range. He just sort of finds a way, need to find a way to get in. But Guile continuing the pressure. Solid move. Goes into the grab. Oh, into the hard slam. The low kick. Low kick is his favorite right now, but Lariat. Larry just says no. Destroys him. He's calling out every single move with these low kicks. He's just low kicking. Crazy neutral here. But the Keef. Crazy. Crazy. 
All right, that is win two, three. You ready? Do I hot sauce chips? There's no wings, but we had chips. He spammed. All right, this is our rowdy ones. We got games going on. Are we? We're doing a next match, right? Next match is the hot sauces. No, this is it. Oh, this is the hot sauce this match. Hot sauce. Okay, so our team, our boys, got to take some hot sauce. Which one was it? The so the, That's the yeah, go go small. Pizza sauce should be the first one. Pizza sauce is number one. That's not pizza sauce. That's the hottest one. The hottest one. What? Yeah, we're going up for some auto little. You're gonna want a teammate for this. There you go. This should be an easy sauce. Pizza sauce. How are we looking? Easy. What's our pain tolerance? What's our spice tolerance over here? What do we got? Spicy. You don't like spicy? It's not spicy. Okay. What's uh? How spicy can you do? The bomb. The bomb. The bomb. Got the bomb. All right. All right. Playing for the next level. That was pizza sauce. Easy sauce. Not that bad. At a scale of one to ten, so that we give that one. Yeah, that's a one. Okay. Going to the next match. Oh, we doing this for the next match. Yeah. Going we're going up. Oh, you gotta keep <laughs> fighting. <laughs> <laughs> match here. I mean, I mean, the hot sauce wasn't that bad. It was like the low tier of the sauces. I mean, I think I gave them that sauce and then four of the other hottest ones in a row. My bad. But we run back into Blanca versus Chun-Li. Chun-Li, one of those characters that are heavy, heavy combo characters. But as you can see, the meta could be changing here because Chun-Li is one of those harder characters to play. But just crazy combos, crazy plays. I could see that happening a lot, a lot harder. Dawson. Dawson was a crazy match, but Marissa. Marissa could take it all the way here. Let's see. All right, Marissa. Pushing through. All right, Marissa, once again, another one of those heavy grappler characters, but she was a lot more damage, easier to play with. But Blanca, Blanca's still a crazy character to play with. Heavy combos, lots and lots to do, but Marissa, I'm just saying, if a good Marissa player plays, uh, it's over. All right, go in. Crazy error. Say, get on the ground. You're done. The heavy kick, hard punch. Oh, the call out again. That was crazy. He just pressed the same button three times. <laughs> Marissa, once again, hard punch. Pushing it heavy into Blanca, though. Heavy, good grab, good grab. Can you roll out of this? Marissa, heavy combo character. But if she's trapped, she is trapped. She doesn't have any fast move, but she's a great combo starter. Oh, but Blanca into burnout now. Dude, Burnout Blanca is so hard to play with, especially in this corner. The catch. Marissa. Hard, hard punch. Uh, it should be... Hey, Tony, Tony, what's the, hot, the next hot one? No, for him, for him. We had a salsa picante here. JT, what's up? You, you're winning all these games. What's happening? We're, we're not winning. You're not your time. He's, he's playing it smart. He's, he's taking the easy one, so when it gets hard, 
Yeah. When, when it gets hot. You, okay. You playing it smart. Playing it smart. How was that one? One to ten? It's still a one. <laughs> still a one? Okay. A little picante. Not bad. Still a one. We're getting up there, though. Man. They're all scared. Alright, you guys are good. All right, pushing through. All right, once again, DJ versus Marissa. I'm going to say, Marissa, hard doing, but DJ, back on Modern. DJ on Modern, I have never, never, ever, ever seen yet. But I could probably see this matchup being really hard. Let's see what happens here. Hard punch. Marissa, DJ with another counter. She does it again. Probably going to go to Burnout and just a little bit of gear. Oh, but the little push in. Try to do a trick. Sweep his leg. Sweep his leg. He's on the ground. Get him on the ground. Push him in the corner. DJ in the. He just taunted on him. All right, DJ, hard kick. What other games do you have on Steam? Uh. A, Marissa taking that round. I've seen it again. Lots and lots of combos here. But DJ, he just called him out. He just grabbed him and punched him. Oh, hard kick. Marissa putting DJ in the corner. That's a hard position for DJ to escape. Ooh, the hard counter. Good punish counter on that one. How does he follow up on this? Good switch. Put the counter. I saw the dodge. That was like crazy. That two, Marissa, one of those easier characters to spam. Back to one oh. You gotta go teach, or you gotta let Tony play JT. Yeah, you can play JT. That's fine. That's fine. You can JT. Do you want to play someone else? You want to play someone else? What do you want? All right, as we eat into the second hot sauce. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, I don't have one on me. Oh, we got fire roasted garlic for JT. So not bad. It's getting, it's getting up there. It's getting a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting it. Okay. Now, now, you know, they started to get a kick. You know, one thing about pitchers, they used to put a, a icy hot behind the ears to be locked in. JT might be locked in now. All the spiciness, he might lock him in. All right, all right. Moving into the, moving to the second one. Uh, you. Let's see, Zangi. I'm gonna see what characters they pick up next. It could be a lot, a lot of things happening here. Let's see, Marissa. Guys, my mom just texted me. She said goodnight. It is nine o'clock. It's all right. Cammy. Cammy versus Marissa again. I could see that happening very often. Marissa's a really, really easy character to play, but Ken, Ken's just dominant. Let's just see what he character picks up, like, pick up against. I think he's gonna go for a counter pick here, but like, there's a lot of characters I can pick up. Manon, a heavy grappler as well. 
both new characters, both in S Street Fighter 6. I could see this going either way here. Going for the classic controls. Modern, crazy. The bow, that's cute. All right, but man on. The returning champion. Not like commentate, because I'm not going to do all that. No, I'm going there, bro. This is crazy. Man on, man on going back into uh, um, to modern state. But I feel like... I feel like Marissa is kind of a better character as a modern. Alright. Loading in, loading in. Kind of just pushing through. Hard cross up. Man on. Just needs to get in. Goes for a grab again, but Marissa's moves are too quick to push in. Let's see what he counters with. But man on. Just all oh, that counter. <laughs> Actual crazy. Yeah. It's alright though, it's alright. Hard punch here. Oh! Good slide here. Good hard punish. Once again, another special here. That aerial is so good, but man on with those two kicks. They hit hard. A hard counter once again. Let's see what he follows up with. Oh, but the hard counter kick. Goes for tries to go for the grab, but the DP. Oh, I believe this is Manon's game. If he hits him, yes, that's correct. All right, one one. Uh, what's it called? Manon is him, and then the other guy is Marissa. Pushing through. I could see Manon. Another low, but the grab. A crazy call out. Slide out, hard punish, great bait. Pauses the game. <laughs> all right, nice throw escape, but the punish counter. Let's see what the follow up is. Another punish. All good, all good, all good. But that hard punch is gonna do the game. That is a hard, hard punch. As we move into the next sauce. This one is um, Ghost Pepper Wing Sauce. Five out of five flames. Where are we at? Are we feeling good? Feeling good. We locked in. All right. This one's for the bomb. We got the last game. Are we Are we playing for the bomb? I want to be very clear right now that you can set that if you want it, you don't have to do it. I'm actually begging you not to do it. But if you want to do it, you can do it. So I got you guys consent. I'm not for. No one's forcing you guys to do this. He, I mean, he's right now. He's 0-4. He's 0 JD's 0 JT, where are you? What are you talking about with the sauces? Oh, with the sauces, maybe, yeah. All right, JT, are you you're okay with this? You good? You good? Everyone's good? I want a good, clean fight. This is it. This is for the bomb. Coach, don't be mad at me. Character selection. Let's see what happens back here. Okay. What do we got? We have an hour and a half left on stream. Yeah. What's up, Nick? Um. We can play Jackbox. We can play Jackbox. Hold on. I want to beat. I want to beat the crap out of the next person. <laughs> uh, I, I do. I do. I, I do. Oh, I thought it was easy. But I do think I can beat the next person. I do think I can. I can beat the winner. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I'm just. I'm just saying. It'll be alright. But I'm just saying. I'll play for the bomb. You know, put me in coach. Put me in coach. But Guile, Guile, a heavy, heavy camp character versus Marissa. But Marissa, heavy damage. Only needs like five interactions to get in. Guile, super, super heavy, like light on health. Let's see. Sonic Boom? 
Little Sonic Boom here. Just a little Sonic Boom action. Just a little Sonic Boom action. Good little trade here. Getting that bar hard punch. Oh, a crazy punish counter. Damn, he said get back to the ground. Double sweep. Push it on the wall. Hard punish. This could be the turnaround. Uh-oh. 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 1-0 go. Take note, he's got his headphones on. He's got music on. He's, he's zoned in. He's zoned in. Off, that's, that's legit. That's legit. He's zoned in. He's legit. All right. He's playing crazy neutral here, not rushing in against Marissa. Super smart. There it is. The punish counter. That's the opening. Oh, but a little bit of whip here. Marissa, can you take advantage? No. Falls into it once again. Crazy traps up by Guile. Little kick here. Once again, another good counter here. Follows it up with another one. He's about to go in burnout. I'm gonna follows up into this. Good little kick here. Marissa calls out the counter. Oh, with a hard punch. Hard punish. No. Hard punish. Sliver of health here. But he gets it. He's zoned. He's in the game now. I'm just saying. The bomb is next. His first spice sauce. That's insane. I had to wait for him to get to the last one. Come on, man. That's all right. Deal is a deal. Deal is a deal. Oh, hell yeah. I won't screw you over here. That was so bad. This sucks. That was real. Hey, make sure you tag me in this. Make sure you tag me. Oh no no no! You gotta put it on the tip. You can't. No no no. no, 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 no. We got. We got. We got. <laughs> put some more on the tip. Yeah. Put, yeah, put it at every tip. Yeah. Oh my, oh, that's warm. Tip. That, that's warm. Hey, these guys just had the bomb. What's your rating of the bomb? Eleven out of ten. He's not. He, this is fifteen minutes ago. He said. All right. I'll chill, man. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, bro. Just, really just lay it on your tongue. You know what I'm saying? Bro. All right, we have him taking the bomb. JT won after losing four in a row. On purpose, he says. Making him take the bomb. That's a bite. Big bite. Oh. He only took this hospital. Not that bad. Okay. And there. Not bad. Oh, he's tanking it. Oh, he's going back for more. Oh! He went back for more. Oh, my God. He's starting to fight back. Com it's very competitive here. Hey! Congratulations to our competitors. I'm sorry. No reaction. No reaction, but how are you feeling? <laughs> That's the bomb. That's Street Fighter. We're going to have some more Street Fighter here, but I mean, that was fun. Oh, he's. I, are you starting to get the thousand year stare? JT wants some? I, I'm starting. He's, he's saying not bad, but I'm. He's seeing through people right now. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. It's it's the worst sauce. It. Okay, JT took the took the bomb. That's the real gameplay. He tricked him into taking the bomb. He's crying right now. <laughs> he just tricked him into taking the bomb. <laughs> Alright, let's get reactions. Where are you at? One to ten. <laughs> Give me this mic, man. I almost said something I ain't I can't say. Bro, was that not the hottest thing you've ever had? Nope. 
Nope. No, it was not. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Our competitors have walked off screen. That was Hot Ones. We're going to see Bale playing uh, games. We'll get esports people in. Hey. Hey. I don't take any responsibility for this. I, I have audience. I have audience knowledge that I begged. Pandemonium is broken down here. Absolute, absolute pandemonium. Hey, bless me. <laughs> it's hot, man. JT, how do you feel about your performance there at the end? You lost four games in a row just for this moment. Where are you, where are you at Headspace? I am wonderful right now. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't take the extra scoop like I did. I never play tough guy in my life no more. <laughs> no, that literally Nash. We got Rand. I would have said something. Mm. Hey, man, it's off the scale. It's still burning. All right, Riley, you want to get on game? You want to play? You don't got to play for the hot sauce. You want to play for the hot sauce? This is it.
And we're back. We're back on the live stream. We're playing some Jackbox right now. If we want to put on the stream. There you go. We're going to be playing some Jackbox. <laughs> it's just the letter A. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I mean, could you imagine a cave painting with just the letter A? That's crazy. They would. They didn't even invent letters back then.
Convin. Convin. Convention. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. I got my thing didn't write basketball. It just wrote baskets. I got trolled. Oh. Yeah, I'm a beach wedding. Beach weddings exist. You just go to the beach in a suit. Last thing you want to hear from somebody sitting in front of you on the mega bus is a screen, Riley. Riley, the steam. <laughs> oh, Taco Bell fighting back. <laughs> That's a tie. First tie. Good split. Good split. <laughs> oh, I get what's happening. Okay. I finally got some points, though. I'm on the board. You know your baby boy's growing up too fast when he starts to what? <laughs> Shout out Vic. I only barely beat the person that wasn't playing. <laughs> oh. Huge. We got the audio working. I'm stuck. It's very hard for me to do right now. scary. <laughs> Maybe Dr. Pin Dr. Pepper fans here?
I I like an app apple. App apple. <laughs> I don't like garbanzo beans. I I I don't like the texture of them. App apple sounds way tastier than garbanzo beans. <laughs> A nice fifty fifty. <laughs> Wait, don't call me. It's really funny. <laughs> That's actually really good. <laughs> don't contact this number. Do. I know you got the card. Do not call me. Don't call me. That's really good. Uh, right. <laughs> We're getting bangers now. <laughs> It'd be like a crazy Swedish name, like Fritjotrani. I'm on the board. <laughs> they gave me the diapers and underwear. It's really, <laughs> they really wanted me to do this. <laughs> Anybody been here to the indoor skydiving place nearby? I fly. You can't scuba dive in the singer. Dang, they can. They have those big Olympic pools. We go see under the water. The whole point is scuba diving. But well, they have like practice, like you know. <laughs> I gotta show you videos of like the world's biggest scuba diving tank. <laughs> I cannot spell. Come over to my spot. That's what I was 
I got voted once. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Who's the winner? She you got to take a picture. Take a picture of that, yeah. Right, we go, new game. We can do this one. Yeah, we can do that one. IG. Let me check chat. I haven't read chat in a bit. <laughs> Chat's empty. Yeah, I'm happy you guys are here, anyways. If you're still in the chat, say hello. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Playing Jerry Murray Party. I'm a little squid. I'm a little, nice little intro. <laughs> no more Debomb, please. <laughs> Me begging. We got a lot of practice with trivia earlier, so hopefully we're going to look good today. I think I know this answer. Hey, chat. Anybody know the answer to this? I think I just flushed me first. 
That's a good question. This is a hard question, and I'm getting it wrong. Oh! oh. oh. Only two people got it right. Oh, oh my. God. Oh, no. I cut off my first finger. Let's see how this goes. Hello, hello, hello. Well, I'm really glad I cut that finger off. I can't answer it because I cut the wrong finger off. <laughs> I can't. I can't answer it. <laughs> I'm just not gonna answer at a protest. What? You're slow. Like what? What? You say foe? I get some foe. It's fun. Okay. That's a great question, actually. How this will work is all the people that got the, the question right are putting a poison pellet in one of the chalices. Oh. The people that got it wrong are going to pick a chalice. The and you don't know which one has the poison pellet. You stick one with the poison pellet and you die in the house. Yeah, I think pick a chalice to drink from. Wait, what? You just got to pick a chalice and pray. All right, looking at these cups, I don't think anybody put it into six. Yes! You gotta pick the one that no one thought was cool looking. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was me. <laughs> Shout out Art Appreciation for this one. I'm struggling. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't put the answer I would have really put. <laughs> Riley, stop having opinions. <laughs> Please. I would have put vanilla and lost. <laughs> I love vanilla.
I'm fighting for my life here. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Stop putting the answer number one. <laughs> I don't have that finger. <laughs> oh my god! I was punished. <laughs> I was punished. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> I'm real happy for you all. <laughs> I can't answer it. But this game didn't want me to win, I'll be honest. Wait. Oh. Fate. No reason. <laughs> I got haters all around me. It's okay. <laughs> I lost four questions in a row. That's a Chipotle ball right there. I'm good. How many of us older than us even watched that movie? What was it? What even is this? Who's Bill Murray? Who's Bill Murray? I was going to ask you. Bill Miller. I was going to ask if we knew who Bill Murray was. <laughs> That's a pretty good quote. <laughs> I like that quote. Oh, I wasn't looking. You have to pick them in order. Hey, do you want some advice? I'm really good at this part. Permanent is permanent is the key here. Medium money. You want medium money. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Let me guess. Where am I put? Novels written by women. All the way at the back. Let's go. I went to Harvard, yeah. Cool. Not me. I love Catan. I actually never played Clue. I had no idea that dice. I guess it makes sense. <laughs> it's the most anybody's ever cheered for Mars bars. <laughs> I'm at the end still. I don't know. Definitely not a path. I think safe just go star. Life was one. Ah. I have this is no idea. I have no idea. I should love the baby to club, bro. I've never heard of it. <laughs> I'm going through it this whole game. <laughs> oh I know this one. I know this one. And you all caught everybody said it was a It's an Australian thing. <laughs> You know what? What a proud, valiant effort I put up. Never, never lost, just kept losing. Okay, <laughs> okay. <can't, can't. laughs> what?
You have to have the person who made it. You guys heading out? Thanks for hanging, y'all. Thanks for hanging. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah, hey, thanks for the fun. Hey, thanks for talking. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming. We got some people heading out for the night. It's late. We're up late. We're up late tonight. Nice meeting you, sir. It's just Roadrunner Gaming now. It's just us. What do we want to play? We can play Smash. I'm not for Smash. You can play some Smash. Hey, thanks for coming. Seriously. Yeah. Here. Okay. Anybody awake for the night? Everybody gone to bed? No, Have a good night. Attention agents, for anyone with lingering character traits from our intensive company production of A Streetcar Named Desire, three, mandatory two, deprogramming one, is at three. Two. All of the surveillance we do here at the government gets collected in this computer, and when I say all of it, I mean all of it. Even that total disaster when you try to cut open a mango. Usually we upload it straight to government YouTube, but today we're going to use it to play... Espionage! Let's have some analytical fun. Who's up first? We've collected data about everything, even this. What percentage of people have split logs into firewood with axes? Give it your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percent. Okay, we have a guess. 44%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Oh, Ooh, this is interesting. I want to go. How many people here have cut wood before? Raise your hands if you chopped wood. Oh my God. Whoa! On the dot! That's crazy. I mean, there is nothing we can do about... <laughs> Wait. Hey, you got, a, you got an achievement. <laughs> awesome. How many people actually own s streaming services? Thanks for helping me kill an entire Sunday, Netflix. All right, who said lower? Ooh, points for you. Take that. Easy dub. Ooh, this is gonna be good. 
jeans. What brand of jeans are you How many people listen to new jeans? What percentage of people own at least one pair of button fly jeans? <laughs> That's gotta be a health thing. I have only six percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Breathe it in. Half and half. And the correct answer is. 22%. Only 22% of people own jeans. Do I own a pair? Do you own a pair? Yeah. Vera probably owns a pair. Next up. Ah, here we go. My favorite sport after curling. What percentage of people have built complicated structures out of Legos? percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Breathe it in. Looks like an even split. And the correct answer is 55%. Terrible guess. I think if you'd be within 30%, you even get points. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. What percentage of people have delivered speeches in front of more than 100 people? 73%. Okay, higher or lower? It in right down the middle, and Surveil says 55%. Wow, that's a lot of people envisioning others in their underwear. Who got it right? Here's some points. We made it through round one. Let's peek at the score. Breathe it in. Riley's, lear yeah. Riley's learning like what, what it's like for the game to turn against him. <laughs> what percentage of women use wax more frequently than other body hair bulk removal methods? We have an answer. 34%. In round two, you can now guess much higher or much lower. Pick one of those if you think the answer is off by 50% or more. If you're correct, your mama's little angel. You get double the points. Breathe it in. Again. Everyone says higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 5%. You get points, but barely. They're all losing over here. database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people have insulted their smartphones intelligent personal assistants like Siri? When the AI invasion happens, I always say thank you to Siri, and I hope Siri will remember this. 36%. Okay, higher or lower? Okay, let's see the right answer. 62%. Hey, being called a stupid fucking idiot is part of their job. Let's see who got it right. Well done. You get points. And what have we here? Good job. Double points for guessing much higher. Okay, who's up next? What should I do this one's me. Old surveillance program? Ooh, I know. Oh, I'm great at interviews. What, 
percentage of people have been interviewed on radio or TV? Ooh. 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 Make it hard for you guys. He's climbing in your window, snatching your people up. Hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> Greatest TV interview of all time. <laughs> Who got it right? Well done. You get points. Next up. Uh, I don't know. How about... What percentage of people have dated someone who had already dated one of their good friends? Seventy percent. All right, what do you think? Breathe it in. is saying lower and the correct answer is 36 percent remember recycling is good for the planet let's see who got it right nice job i've got some points for you okay who's up next hmm so many famous jankovics let's see which one we're talking about what percentage of people have been to a Weird Al Yankovic concert? Twenty-seven percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Breathe it in. I guess. Only one of you thinks it's higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. Eighteen percent. Which reminds me, I have a new idea for a TV pilot. It's called Accordion to Jim. Who got it right? Mark, yes. Here's your points. Uh-oh, final round time. Through totally legal means, we found the most popular answers to this question. Which band do people most readily associate with the 90s? Now let's see the answers. But choose carefully. Only the three most popular answers are worth points. Ready, go! Okay, let's see what you pick. And what are the most popular answers? Who's gonna get the gold star? Who is it, boys? Who is it? It's... The like comeback of the century. Riley coming back after being last for 10 rounds in a row. A lot of com hey, a lot of comebacks today. A lot of comeback stories today. I only take dubs. I only lose. The new year. Ah, it's just a nuclear event today. We have another month or so. Where where do we go? 
got down to the bunker. What are we doing? Is, is that scuba gear? Uh, kind of. Uh, you should have a tank, a mask, and a regulator in the bottom of your fire cap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Explain, please. Well, the stairs down to the bunker go 100 meters below sea level. Three, There's really 10 two, down there. Well, one. make sure you come back up. Good to see you again. I mean, we always see you, but you know what I mean. Time for more... Espionage! First up... Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask that. What percentage of people have, in anger, damaged or destroyed things they were assembling? Okay, we have a guess. 81%. Everyone else, now it's your turn. Do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? If you think the guess is off by 15% or more, you can get double points by picking much higher or much lower. Time's running out. Breathe it in. People are saying lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 57%. Follow-up question, what percentage were able to return the piece of shit to Ikea? Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Who's next? Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. What percentage of people can play a musical instrument? Eighty-five percent. Everyone pick higher or lower. Breathe it in. Just one of you is saying higher, and Surveil says fifty-six percent. Not too good, not too bad, just okay. Got it right. Well done. You get points. Okay, who's up next? All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. What percentage of people have never, ever used swear words in front of their parents? All right, what do you think? Breathe it in. I guess. People are saying higher. Okay, right answer is... 15%. Dang, you nailed that guess. Let's see who got it right. Job, I've got some points for you. Next up. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people normally air dry all their wet laundry? Six percent. Okay, higher or lower? I guess. Breathe it in. Ooh, everyone thinks it's higher. Now let's get to the right answer. Six percent. Hey, you're a better guesser than our trained rats. Nice job. So you all got it wrong. Ooh. Who's next? Breathe it in. Okay, computer, what do you have for this one? What percentage of people over 40 still possess high school letterman jackets? Eighty 
37%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? It's unanimous again. And the correct answer is... 15%. It's the only way they can sneak into R-rated movies. Who got it right? Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? Cowabunga, dudes. What percentage of people feel a stronger bond to Donatello than to the other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Twenty-five percent. Okay, higher or lower? Breathe it in. Let's get to the right answer. 33%. You were pretty close. Nice. Let's see who got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. And what have we here? Ah, that's too bad. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. Time for the final round. We let the computer scour petabytes of data to find the most popular answers to this question. What do people want the government to spend tax money on? Let's see what we have. You get three guesses. Try to pick the most popular answers to get the most points. Good luck. Remember, you can pick three answers, not just one. All right, let's see what everyone picked. Now, let's take a look at the results. my hero who's my hero it's breathe it in i'm the comeback kid i finally won a game not last place <laughs> That was our Jackbox. Um, if you're still in the chat hanging out with us at 1045 at night, on a school night, on a work night, Tuesday night, thanks for hanging. It's really cool. I'm really, you can go, go behind me. Oh, yeah, go behind me. <laughs> I Seriously, I want to thank everybody who has made this happen. Thank you to Roadrunner Gaming for always doing these setups. Um, I want to thank the athletics team for allowing us to even be in this space. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for helping us set this up. Um, thanks to our communications team for allowing us to be on this great platform, the UTSA YouTube page, and for promoting yeah. us on the Twitter page. Um, yeah, right on the gaming. I mean, what do you, you know, I, I ask, I talked a lot to um, the other athletes about, you know, their experience with UTSA and everything like that. I'm really interested to hear 
from your perspective as a gamer and everything like that, how you feel we're doing as a community, you know, where do you see us going next? And um, what's your favorite UTSA memory? So where are we going to start? Like, how is UTSA doing as a community? Um, this is easily like one of the best communities I've been a part of. Yep. Um, I remind everybody in my Discord uh, with a lot of the announcements that I make pretty frequently that I thank them uh, for making it the best community that I've been in for a long time. Um, they're all very helpful. They're nice to one another. They push each other to be better. They support one another. Um, and there are a lot of places where they can they can say, like, oh, yeah, of course we do it that way. We say it this way, whatever, whatever. Um, but UTSA is one of the first places that I've seen it with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. And I can really understand, like, oh, they mean that. Yeah. Like, they mean it here. Um, it's it's just kind of like an unbelievable experience. Um, I know you asked my favorite UTSA memory. Yeah. So being what, what year are you, by the way? It's what year major? Oh, that's um, – so technically I'm a sophomore okay. in cybersecurity, but this is my second degree. Okay. So I'm a post-baccalaureate. Oh. Woo! Yeah. So – Technically sophomore in cybersecurity, um, but as far as I remember, um, I think it was two years ago uh, when we were playing UAB, um, uh, being with the band, and I got to watch Oscar Cardenas mm -hmm. make that snag in the end zone yeah. just like three seconds to the end of the game, yeah. you know, and uh, that was that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. It was so loud. Everybody went yeah. crazy. I think my friend cried. <laughs> I probably had some tears too. Not it was gonna lie. it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Um, but yeah. So what do you? So you know, I know we talked a little bit, but what do you? What what are you looking forward to next? I mean, you got two more years with this degree, two more years being with Roadrunner Gaming. What's what is your goals for to for Roadrunner Gaming in general? Uh, goals are I, I like to think of it as like stability. Yeah. Um, just a thought of like getting that to a place where my players and my community have somewhere to go. Um, I know that's kind of like a big thing, especially that we put into like, um, what's it called? Like getting involved or get involved sessions and things like that. A lot of people are like, well, I don't know what to do next. Where do I go? Mm -hmm. um, and I've always stated from the beginning that Roadrunner Gaming is a place you can come hang out, play some games, meet some people. Um, and moving forward, we're in a really good spot. And yeah. I know that the esports side of things is just going to go forward from here. Uh, so I want to kind of like ensure the stability of that moving forward, like a platform people can be. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, I think that's what I'm looking forward to. But like, don't get me wrong, being there in some of the biggest esports areas, watching the team compete, mm -hmm. uh, cheering them on, you know, I think that's another. That's got to be one of the biggest things to look forward to. What's your next big esports event you have going on? Um, well, that's true. The first general meeting, uh, we don't have a date for that. But like esports wise, it's it's actually kind of the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. So um, I think we have um, like a finals debut in December with a um, a league called Nace. Okay. Um, so somewhere in December, we're gonna be having some teams go out. I think it's gonna be up in North. Uh, Northeast America, somewhere around like Massachusetts, New York, in that area. Good. So, so where can people follow you? Where can people watch? Where can people love and support you guys? Uh, you can find us on any of our socials at RRGUTSA. Um, that's going to be all of our stuff. Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram. Um, if I'm forgetting another one, it's going to be the same thing. Facebook. Uh, Facebook, okay. We have that there. So, Well... Thank you so much for helping us here. Yeah, I really course. appreciate it. This is our second stream together. We hope to have more streams. I mean, every one of these have been an absolute blast. Uh, you guys have made it so easy for us to just come in here, do your things. I know you guys work your butts off, so um, we want to continue supporting you guys and everything like that. So, yeah. um, again, thank you, for everybody, for watching us. really means a lot. I'm really glad this time I'm not on the end of crying at the end of the stream. <laughs> Um, from pain, I'm glad I get to go home and have a good night's rest. And I hope you guys continue to have a great west of rest of your week uh, at UTSA. Have a great semester. I want you guys to have an amazing year. Uh, good luck to our men's football team, basketball, uh, golf, all the people, all the people who had sports here today who did interviews with us. Again, thank you guys so much. Thank you to our teams for you know coming here and hanging out. Um, 
Yeah, that's what I got. Um, let's call it out.